my friends so what is content syndication have you heard syndication you've heard you got to syndicate you got to syndicate and you're wondering okay what exactly is it and why do you care why should you use it and you know how can you use it and what does it do and all that so we're going to talk about all that and content syndication basically means sharing your content across multiple destinations right so when we're talking about social media we're talking about sharing a post across more than one platform now some say that's not a good idea you don't want to share links you don't want to do this you don't want to do that so we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about syndicating the right way and why and how you can actually do that you can actually share but do it the right way and we're going to show you what that means but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets well first of all let's get this this straight if you're doing syndication you are doing the right thing you know you got to be syndicating but you got you might be doing it not exactly the right way and by the way if you're listening to the audio make sure you go to cis253.jsgagnon to go check out the video or the blog post to see exactly what I'm talking about because I do do some screenshots I do do some other things uh although the audio I try to uh, be you know and good so that you can still <laughs> listen to the audio and still learn from it and by the way I syndicate my content everywhere to like 20 different platforms I mean I I syndicate to Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and Snapchat and then I and then I also um go to Click eCourse and I go to iTunes and I go to Stitcher and I go to Spotify and iHeartRadio and Google Podcasts and uh then uh, then reddit and blogger and wordpress wordpress blog um <coughs> what else um uh live journal um so like i said i syndicate to 24 28 platforms or something like that and i'm and i might be growing as well as i go as i learn to do it in a more efficient way so first things first you can syndicate uh by sharing links right so that's definitely not something that I recommend that's not something anybody recommends on social media some might say well you might think okay I'm going to post this video to YouTube or I'm going to write my blog post and then I'm just going to share that link to social media right so let me show you what happens when you do that so let me just go here share my screen I actually have a uh, let's see right over here so if I go and I, I should have prepared this I keep forgetting to well not always but lots of times I forget to prepare uh if I go to my Facebook for example let me just go to Facebook here let's share the screen <coughs> sorry about the cough so if I go to Facebook right and I show you basically kind of what I do right if I go to my page on Facebook and by the way I do both right I share links and I share native content and there's a difference between the links I share and the native content I share like this for example is native content right so it's it's a picture I took and then I just posted and I, I didn't get lots of comments I just got that's yesterday but and then you know I shared uh, I shared content and I and then I shared and this is one thing is this one here is the episodes that I do every day I share those on my profile as you can see I got no comments but sometimes if I post this seven comments here and it's not a huge amount um no comments here there's you know picture of my daughters here another video no comments uh five comments on this this picture here no comments uh seven comes there's just some of them that I got a lot uh, recently last so, so one comment there's one here that we had 30 comments right this is a picture of my wife and me on our date night uh and you know you'll get you'll get things like that so this one here no comments on this one there's one of them that I had a lot of comments on why is where is it nine well I guess it's nine comments not a huge amount but as you see six comments here uh 10 19 comments right here right so I mean that's the thing so 
if you post native comment like native content like this you're going to get more engagement if you post a link you're not going to get anything like none of these ever get anything and that's that's because I'm not really trying to focus on it I'm not trying to build it one of the things that you're going to learn about audience about social media is that it's a reciprocity thing so if I actually wanted people to see this post I should be looking for people posting links on Facebook that'll let Facebook know that I'm interested in links and it'll reward me by sharing my links across some of my friends so that they engage on it but I I don't really recommend doing that because it's a lot of time it's a lot of time what I rather do is syndicate so I post so basically what I do is I share to my story uh I share to my um I create I post it on a page right if you look at this for example let's go back here this uh, yesterday's episode here right this is goes on my page I goes on the course income secrets if I go there you can see all the uh, episodes in this on this page right course income secrets live which is a, a playlist of all the videos every time I post one I add it to the playlist right so um so that's that's one thing I do and then I also of course share on LinkedIn on LinkedIn what I do is I go to LinkedIn and I share the 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 a shorter video like and actually on Facebook these are shorter videos see four minutes five minutes 459 <laughs> this one's eight 456 they're all shorter all the real videos that are on YouTube are actually 30 minutes or more right so well 25 28 to 30 40 minutes that's how long I do my videos so that I do that then I syndicate to all the platforms using the content but the thing is that you know if we look at something like a Gary V over here Gary V talks about how to make 64 pieces of content in a day right so this uh, slide deck over here is basically you know how to make 64 pieces of content in a day and if we look at this uh, slide deck I actually downloaded it let me go get it here <coughs> I downloaded it yesterday this one here <coughs> let's just load that up it'll be better to to show you the actual uh but you know I mean he just this is this is him explaining that syndication how to syndicate native content right so I mean obviously this takes a lot of time a lot of work to go through and do all this uh, but he kind of shows you how you can repurpose certain things but not by creating links not by sharing links by actually recreating new content like see for example right here he talks about this picture he took a picture of this and made a tweet of it right then he changed the drawing and then he changed the text in there and took another picture and then he posted to Instagram and on on TikTok um it's not TikTok sorry Snapchat right and then he talks about videos he talks about uh pictures he talks about all these different things that's syndication you know like crazy syndication right and that's the thing that I'm I'm working towards that I want to show you how to do and let's just kind of give you another so the next so the next thing that happened is I learned from one of my mentors and friends now Mark Lalonde he showed me and a bunch of other people how to syndicate a video right so basically he's got this course and in this course do I have this as a let's reset in this course he basically talks about content creation optimizing a pillar uh, anyways all this right if I go through here session one uh, optimize your pillar content session three you know how to how to run a successful and profitable automated webinar number four a my live or memorex five is creating your custom code images then he creating lead capturing video clips creating audio for your podcast uh blog create a blog um populating your perfect blog post with content and then rss feed channel art for itunes for podcasts and uh amazon alexa flash briefing skill and then syndicating to all social platforms so basically this course that he put together he basically ex <coughs> got went through everything obviously i can't do that right now i can't show you all this but and I, again like i said if you're listening to the audio you're, you're going to want to go to cis two five three cis two five three dot js dot com to go check out the video because I'm actually showing right now the octo content model and uh it's just uh 12 at 12 sessions of two three hours each 
that we went through to learn all the different things to actually create content to syndicate so the whole point of this whole <laughs> the whole point the whole point of this whole thing was to show how to do all the pieces so you end up at the end where you can actually syndicate content now so you know that's basically <coughs> taking your video like if I take my video for example that I have here from yesterday and I load it up inside of just movie maker right you can use iMovie or whatever Camtasia there's a bunch of tools out there but if I look at this video it's a 28 minute video now I can't I can't actually post that to uh, LinkedIn Pinterest or Instagram um or Twitter right because those platforms have a maximum length so I can't post the whole thing <laughs> and if I just post the link like I said you're going to lose a lot of of uh, of traction because lots of the those posts won't even be shown by the platform the platform doesn't want to show links they want native content so you could do you know a screenshot I could go through this and I could just take a screenshot something something in here just take a screenshot and post that as an image to uh, Instagram right for example and even on Twitter or on Pinterest I could post images right so I can create screenshots some of the platforms uh so okay here let, let's back up so one of the reasons why you want to do syndication why do you want to share everywhere is because the more people see your stuff the more people will get to know you right and that and you know that that's the goal if you're building a business online your goal is to get people to know like and trust you so that they will buy from you and the only way for them to to go through that process is to see your content so if you um share just on one platform well you're going to get only the people on that platform to see it right but if you share on 20 platforms you're going to have more people see your stuff now like I showed you on Facebook I don't have a ton of views a ton of things but I do get you know 20 30 views on the videos every single day I do I do and I've grown an audience of like 14,000 uh, people uh, that have seen my videos and then I can repurpose some content to them and also I have um what um yeah so I get you know 10 20 views on my Instagram I get uh, 10 20 30 views on LinkedIn I get 100 views or 200 views on my Pinterest so all that adds up right and all these people that see it they don't necessarily go to where the link is but the goal is that if they see it enough eventually they will go and that's what you're looking for you're looking for people to go to your blog so that they get you know uh in the rabbit hole of your content right that's that's where you want to be just like just like the platforms want want them to stay on the platform you want them to go to your blog and be on your blog and navigate around and look for things and and search for things right so that's where you want them to go um but so if I want to share you know a a video to link to to Twitter well I have to I have to cut it so I have to go for example let's say I go to where is what's this this is the 33 33 seconds okay so you see right there 103 105 okay so two minutes right about here is the two two minute mark because the thing is that <clears throat> you know Twitter is two minutes 20 seconds maximum right so I could go all the way to two minutes 20 seconds right here right right around there and I can just cut that so I go like this I go edit it and then I split it and then I just delete that part right so now the video is less than less than two minutes and I can share it to TikTok now obviously I have to go and I have to say you know save it save it I'm going to go save it uh whatever format and then I end up saving it on my computer then I upload it to YouTube and that's how I create uh, a native content video for YouTube right uh, for not YouTube sorry Twitter now <coughs> I can undo this undo this and now I want to share it to uh, LinkedIn LinkedIn is 10 minutes so I go to the 10 minute mark uh right over here where's the 10 minutes that's 13 so 10 will be so 10 minutes again I go to the same thing I go to the 10 minute mark let's say 959 right there I tr I trim it and then I take that out and then I save that to my desktop uh, and then I upload it to, to to LinkedIn and now I have native video for LinkedIn now by the way I'm not saying that that is what I do because that is not enough I think there's more that you need to do because the problem is that 
you know people are, might somebody might start listening to this and they're like oh this is a great video they're going to be listening listening right listening and then they end up and then poof it just cuts off nothing that's it there's nothing there so what you really want to be doing is you want to be telling them that the video is cutting off and that they can go read go where can they go to to see the rest of the video right <coughs> so in my case what I did is I created a, a video so what I did where is it uh, it's in here if I go up to here I have another video right here which is so what I did is I took a video let's just do this no that's the intros the, these ones to be continued so basically I created an image and do I have the images under the original image yeah right here so I have this image right that I created that I just you know uh, let's let's move me out of the way here whoops where's my there you go let's move me out of the way here and let's make this a little bit smaller so you can actually see the whole thing okay so so you can go ahead and screenshot this and then like I said if you're listening to the audio you really want to go to cis253.jsgaining.com but the, you know the the image is just a black image and then I put text on it and it says this was part of an episode from course income secrets watch or listen to the rest of this episode by clicking the link in the description or comments then I add you can also check out my entire content library or ask me anything by using the ask Jean Serge hashtag in the search more at jeansergegagnon.com so that's that's in the text of an image all right so I create that image and then what I did is I took that image and I actually put it right in the video I added to the video here in the case of this uh, editor I can take this image and I can go to the image uh, where is it uh, this duration I can make this last you know 30 seconds or whatever <clears throat> and then they they'll see this image right um at the end of the video so if they're playing the video they'll see this all of a sudden it goes to that right so now at least they have a few seconds where they can read this thing and say oh oh no the rest I want to see the rest of this so now you're telling them to go to your blog now I did on top of that then what I did is I actually because I reused these videos on my podcast as well then what I did is I added voiceover to this I created a shorter video like this is the video here so I basically created a video <coughs> that's called to be I just called it to be continued with voice <laughs> and then I saved it <coughs> as a video with um a certain resolution right so if I if I just open this up you're going to see that this this is just the exact same thing it's just the image it's going to load up here so it's just the image but as you can see down here this this is moving along if we were to have the voice let's just put the voice on comments you can also check out my entire content library or asking so as you can hear I'm actually reading that text now I made that into a video so with the text background with my voice on top of it reading it and then what I do is I instead of adding the image to the video here I just go and add the um, the this video here to it just add it there and it's got the it's just the right amount of time for me to read it because I'm reading it I add it to the end of this video and I end up with a you know a 10 minute this this is actually too long 10 minute 27 is too much for a LinkedIn I gotta trim this a little bit more because now I added this extra like 30 seconds to it so let's just uh, trim it right there I don't know if that's a good spot but uh total uh, that's still too much let's go back you know if I would <coughs> if I would have uh trimmed it ahead of time with the land because I know how long this is still too much two see another four seconds okay let's just cut this and like you as you can see so 947 okay 947 is fine it's less than the 10 minutes for LinkedIn and as I explained you do the same thing for Twitter you add this to the end here and then when the when they, they see the video they see the end of it and they see this at the end of the video so that you they can go to your blog to finish the video right so I mean that's uh, kind of what I do for videos right so for videos you're going to want to do that too and the other thing you want to do is you want to make a transition between this and this so that you're you're you have a fade fade out 
make it slow right here <clears throat> and then I want to put an animation between the two I'm just going to do this and when I when I play it right it's going to if I just play and it you can kind of video see micro it's going content to fade so down. basically you can layer on titles and captions and, and, and switch over oh it's the, this it was part of an episode of course out. income this secrets tool, but Watch anyways her. that's that's so that's maybe I didn't I'll fade in this is what I need captions needed. your videos to make this was captions okay, your videos I can just do this for example there you go and I can make the duration maybe make it last uh two minutes <clears throat> and this one here is going to have uh, edit fade out that's the sound right so it doesn't actually I actually anyways we'll okay so <clears throat> so now when it's playing we're talking about in a minute just keep keep uh, listening keep watching we're going to get into that exactly what I'm tr trying to get to but he's talking about fearing you know stop fearing the algorithm now he's got 31 pieces of content video micro content so basically you can layer on titles and captions your this was part of an episode from course income secrets watch or listen to the rest of this episode by clicking the so there you go as you can see that is a whole process in itself to actually create the content to do your syndication and you know if this was easy if this was easier to do more people would do it probably and that's what I'm here to show you is because I've put I've been doing this for a while and doing this every single time uh for every single video it takes a while to load up the video and then to go and find the position where I want to cut it then go add the end to it then go set up the automate the um the the fade out and the uh, animation between the two and then clicking the button to save it and waiting for it to be saved right I gotta I actually have to save it and then I have to wait for it to be saved before I can even upload it to uh Twitter or Pinterest or so and I I do the same thing for Pinterest Pinterest is not 10 minutes it's 15 minutes so I can actually post longer if I want one of the things I've been doing is I've been posting the five minute one to Pinterest and Facebook and LinkedIn so that on those three platforms if somebody watches the video they only see the first part and they have to go to my blog to see the rest and they have this at the end right so that's that's the video syndication that I do now the image syndication um I do a couple things so first if you'll notice here oh no not here if you'll no <coughs> notice in my in my folders that I have here if I go to the say yesterday's episode <coughs> you'll notice that I have a thumbnail here which is the thumbnail that I took of the video it's just a it's just you know I took a screenshot in one at one position inside the video that becomes the thumbnail that I choose instead of letting the platform choose the thumbnail so on on YouTube and on on Facebook I I select the thumbnail and I, I use this then I create I got three gifts here but I really just always use just this one um but basically that's a gif it's a it's again it's part of that video right it's this is not a video this is just a gif a gif right a gif which is a moving picture that you can use on your blog in an email or other places <laughs> um you can even uh on twitter you can even share a, a gif and it'll show and i and on facebook i'm not really sure how that uh, you probably could but i don't think you can do that on instagram i'm not sure but anyways you can wherever you can use it you can do that so the other thing I do is I create a sand cloud uh which is a square with inserted in the middle is the screenshot and then on top of that I put podcast number 252 and then over here as you can see there's the title of my ips my series and then I just have down here with my name right down there right so that's for my podcast uh art right <clears throat> now um what else and as you can see I've got the trim videos right here I also have the sound export so <laughs> I'm not really sure there's tools to do that I use uh, I use command line stuff and I use my website to to export all this stuff uh, but then I have text right I then you need the text if you're sharing on Facebook like for example let's just say um I want to share on Facebook right or I want to share uh, where is it right over here so if I want to share on LinkedIn right I want to create a new post right here I'm going to start a post I'm going to put the video right, right in here uh, actually that'll take too long to upload uh, let's go to my let's let's actually go uh, cancel that <clears throat> let's go to the actual 
to the actual uh, I use this remote sir remote computer here to do this so uh, if I go to uh yeah what is that I'm going to show you that in a second if I go to LinkedIn and I want to post a new uh post right I go to LinkedIn I want to create a new post then what I do is I go to here I select the video and I find my trimmed video right and then I just say say uh, done right here and then what what text do I put in here right am I gonna like every single place I post on on LinkedIn on Facebook on Pinterest am I gonna retype all that text no what I do is I actually go and find the text so I just go in here I say I have the files locally uh so just the uh, LinkedIn text is here so whenever I whenever I prepare my syndication I have the text right here I just take it I copy it and then I go to LinkedIn and I paste that text right so now I have the whole text right here I have a, <coughs> a little bit of the of the of the text from the episode and I have something that says link to continue reading uh, to longer video and comments and then I have all this thing here and then I just post it right so now after I posted it I'm going to discard that <coughs> after I posted it it shows up in my feed like this which is see the same this is what I posted yesterday right same exact thing here and then I just go here and I add a comment which is right here I actually just take this right out of here I copy this right here right and then I paste that right in here as a comment right I just go here and I paste it as a comment right so that's that's what I do and, and the thing is that I have this whole sequence of things and you can do that too you can do that too and this is what you just said I didn't mean for you to see this ahead <clears throat> ahead of time but this is what uh, uh this is what I I use now it's a syndication engine so all I got to do is I just go over here so if I look at my uh whoops syndication list so oops this is not oh that's because I'm on the real time so if I look at this you can see I've got 252 250 251 um so if I go to this which is uh what I prepared already uh then I go to the assets I have all the assets I need so if I want to share to LinkedIn I go to LinkedIn text I can take this text here and I can just there's right up to here I copy that then I go to LinkedIn and I create my post right I go like this paste that in there right now I have my post for for that that content I still have to adjust some of the some of the um like some of this right so that's something I'm working on right now to get it to work properly but um <clears throat> this is the uh, syndication engine is lets you do that and how does that work then I have the if I go back to the asset list now all these are locally so if I go to this oh and that's the other thing right it'll create the video for you and it'll add at the end the this part here you just have to tell it what to add <laughs> to your video all you got to do is if I go here I'll show you kind of what the syndication looks like oh I know that's not right that's not right uh let's go to debug because I do have it uh I actually have the this is updated now let's go back where am I right over here let's go back let's move that over here and get you the a debug version which I'm in the middle of uh, updating if I go back here <coughs> yeah so the syndication engine basically uh let's open mm -mm -mm. I'm almost there almost there sorry about that so the syndication engine is basically kind of explains what this is oh, sure. I don't want to do that so uh let's see where am I right over here okay so the syndication engine if you go to clicky course syndicate uh let's just uh, add that here clicky course where's the clicky course so clickycourse.com slash syndicate right like this slash syndicate uh if you go there you're going to see this explanation it's not completely uh, all done yet uh, I'm in the middle of uh, putting it together but basically it kind of explains how the syndication works right first of all you upload a video then you enter the title the URL, <laughs> URL episode number in the full text and then you click the button 
and that's it uh, other than setting up certain things like for example uh the the, the trailer the uh, the outro to your video which is obviously has to be you has to be your text I can't you can't use mine because <coughs> it wouldn't make sense obviously but other than that you can actually <coughs> use um <coughs> you can you can use just like this without uh, importing any of that stuff and it'll generate all the assets for you and then you can download the zip to your computer and you end up doing basically this process you end up doing this where you can share to all these platforms using all these assets and it's really really that simple to, like I said just <laughs> number one upload the video number two enter information click the button that's it one two three right <laughs> and if, <coughs> I'm sorry about that <laughs> and if you want to know more about this there's actually a, uh, a webinar that I do that I'm going to be doing next Tuesday or you can watch the last replay if you'd like um either either one and you can find those links right on this page right click ecourse.com slash syndicate where you can syndicate your own content by just uploading a video all you got to do is you got to record a video write up some text and then upload it and click the button that's that's all you got to do isn't that insane isn't that amazing then <laughs> you can share to all the platforms you want all right hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.